welcome back to my channel <clears throat> and our Advent devotional. It's December the 21st. And of course, Advent is the observation. Uh, it's a Christian practice that was developed by Christians as a way to focus their hearts. Get this just to see it. It's not cut off. So their hearts would be focused on the coming of Christ in preparation for his, uh, his birth. Um, the first week, of course, it involves purple candles, pink candles, and a white candle. And the first week was the uh, first purple candle. That, of course, is the prophecy candle, the candle of hope. The second week is the second purple candle, which is the Bethlehem candle, or the candle of preparation. The third week is your pink candle, which is the shepherd candle, or the candle of joy. And we are in the fourth week of Advent, which is the last the third purple candle and that is the um, angel's candle and Christmas Eve we light the white candle in the center so let's see our <clears throat> reading comes out of the book of Isaiah chapter 40 I've, I love doing this because I've wanted to do an Advent devotional just as a great way to focus the attention where it needs to be and I've said this in many other Advent devotionals I'm just repeating myself <laughs> sorry about that but it is a, it's a great discipline, and forgive the aircraft sounds overhead, the sound of freedom. <laughs> we live right near the air base here in Virginia Beach. Okay. All right, Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 5. It's four days till Christmas, and this is really, I love it. I get so excited. We have a payday like two days before Christmas, so I haven't finished my Christmas shopping. I'll be getting it done in the last hectic days of the leading up to Christmas, 23rd and 24th, so. Okay, comfort, comfort my people, says our God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for all her sins. Listen, it's the voice of someone shouting, clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Make a straight highway through the wasteland for our God. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Straighten the curves and smooth out the rough places. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all the people will see it together. The Lord has spoken. That's the comfort for God's people. That's what it's entitled. Make straight the highway through the wasteland for our God. I'm pretty sure this is reference to the birth of Jesus and how he is bringing the pardoning of our sins that we are to rejoice, clear the way through the wilderness for the Lord. Wonderful scriptures that lead up to it's um, it's a study I want to get into all the prof the prophecies about the Messiah and there's more than I even realize I've read um, some passages and um, I'll be like what's that about you know and I've seen books you know I've, I know of a few prophecies here and there you know it's also in Isaiah he'll be called Wonderful Counselor Mighty God we use that a lot at Christmas time. That might be one of the scriptures coming up, actually. But um, <clears throat> there's just something about reading the prophecies and seeing how it fits and telling, showing us how Jesus... I, I know there's a study out there somewhere. I'm going to have to look for it now that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have to jot it down, make a note to myself to find it, the whole study of the, find the, the Messianic scriptures or the Messianic prophecies along with um, how Jesus fulfilled it. I know that someone's done a study on that, so I gotta find it so I can do it myself and just make myself more aware. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that scripture today. We can find comfort in the fact that without the birth of Christ, whenever that occurred, it's okay to take a day to celebrate and honor that birth. Without it, there'd be no forgiveness of sin. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful Advent season and these devotions. I hope it's lifting you and helping you to get focused and prepared in your heart for honoring the, the one, the best gift we were ever given, and that's Jesus. Thank you for spending a little time with me today. Do make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye until next time.